Mark the date, 11th of June 2020 is officially when Next Gen starts. I'm so excited for this showcase today. Happens at 9pm UK time. It is all about the games, PS5 games. And I've heard so many good things in the background about how good this is going to be. It could be as long as two hours, potentially. I don't reckon it's going to be that long, but that's, that's the rumours. I'm just very excited. So... Let's make some random predictions. Oh yes. So just to confirm, they are going to be focusing on games. They may surprise us. They may show the price. They may show the console. I don't know. I really don't know. But for now, let's just focus on the games. That's what they've promised. And that's what we're going to see, at least. Right, so it's now 9pm. The showcase is about to begin. How do they start? Good question. I've got two options. One. Boom! Console, here's the box. Yeah! Oh my god. So that creates uh, like a sort of a selling point right at the start of the stream. People start talking straight away. Social media is lighting up. People tune in. People are, are ready <laughs> to see the rest of the stream straight away. Just showing the box would just blow up. Potentially though, more realistically, they start with Horizon Zero Dawn 2 PS5 gameplay. Oh yes. I don't think that's going to be the name. I reckon Horizon something. Horizon Sunrise. Horizon, I don't know, Zero Progress. I've got no idea. But the name will be at least Horizon in some way. But yeah, that's, that's how they're going to start. That's Griller Games, new exclusive for the PS5 Horizon Zero Dawn. This will be really the first time we've probably seen next generation gameplay, really. Whew. Okay, that's quite the start. <laughs> that is quite the start. So, I don't think it's going to be next, but there will be some sort of reference to Call of Duty on the PS5, of course. So, it'll be Call of Duty, Cold War, I believe. Cold War or Black Ops, something like that. It'll be played on the PS5. Of course, it's still going to come out on the Xbox One, the PS4, the PC, the Xbox Series X, but they will be showing off PS5 gameplay the campaign. Yes, yeah, so I reckon about 8 to 10 minutes again of PS5 Call of Duty single player campaign footage. Boom! Done. That is a, that's a big statement. Call of Duty sells copies, sells consoles every year. So having Call of Duty again siding with the PlayStation is a massive deal. Right, so this is where they start to focus on maybe the older PS4 titles being enhanced for the PS5. So better loading times 4k 60 fps hopefully so spider-man uncharted fire i think might be a good shot already a really good looking game if they can enhance that maybe make it look even better that would be incredible so this is where they go back to maybe older titles older ps4 games and just speak about the enhancements they can do to improve it on the ps5 so again this would be a massive deal if this does happen gran turismo on the ps5 again PS5 gameplay showcasing Gran Turismo would be absolutely... That would just drop so many jaws. Honestly, Gran Turismo sells consoles. It sells copies. It's a big deal. So if they can somehow release that for launch or this year, 2020, or early next year, that'd be a massive deal. So this would be a big announcement. I know not everyone's excited about racing games, but Gran Turismo is a massive deal. And that would be, yeah... That'd be awesome. A PS5 Gran Turismo. So I reckon Warner Brothers will be at this showcase in some way. So we have Batman coming up from Montreal. So again, PS5 Batman gameplay. Oh, they might try and go for the slightly younger audience as well. Harry Potter RPG may be at the show. Again, I don't believe Warner Brothers is doing a, a showcase. The same actually for Bethesda. So Bethesda, for the most, I guess, maybe two or three years now, they've been doing E3, their own showcase, and trying to obviously put out all their news and details, Fallout 76, Fallout 4, all be massive deals. But this year, they have nothing. Nout. So, could they appear at potentially one of the biggest showcase events of the year, the PS5 gameplay game reveals? Could they show Starfield? Oh, that would be... A surprise 100 percent be a surprise they could show just a tiny glimpse of a next gen rpg from bethesda game studios that would be 
incredible to see. I'd, it's very unlikely, but Bethesda has to show something off. They have to sell something this year apart from Doom. What's coming out for Bethesda? I don't know. So they may tease future titles. Obviously, uh, Elder Scrolls is a long way off. Don't even think of that yet. Just don't. Not a chance. Not a chance. But Starfield, maybe. Maybe we may see that at the showcase. Wow. So again, this one's been heavily rumoured. Heavily rumoured. So fairly likely to happen. Resident Evil 8. And apparently they're taking a few risks with this game. So it's going to go down a similar path to Resident Evil 7. Be pretty scary again. Uh, but some interesting takes. A few unique aspects as well. But yeah, we may see PS5 Resident Evil 8 gameplay. And a big shout would be it actually releases this year. That would be, wow, maybe November, December. I don't know. This, sh this showcase could be absolutely incredible. I, I can't help but feel like maybe I might be overhyping this a little bit. Actually, everybody's overhyping it. Are we asking too much from Sony? This is a, if all of these happen, it would be just like mind blowing. Absolutely mind blowing. But yeah, Resident Evil 8, I think, will show at some point during the showcase, maybe just a brief snippet of gameplay or a trailer or a tease in some way. It, yeah, I think that's, a, that's a, a strong possibility. Resident Evil and PlayStation come together like glue and paper. <laughs> right, so let's touch on the, the, the Souls games. Uh, not my, my, my favourite franchise, but for a lot of people, they absolutely love it. So Demon Souls, I reckon, will be remade from scratch for the PS5. Ooh, that'd be good. It's got a massive cult following. People love it. I just find it too difficult and I get very angry very quickly. So it's not a game for me, but I know people will be excited. So Demon Souls, remastered, remade for the PS5. 100% going to happen, I reckon. By the same guys that done Shadow of the Colossus. So a complete remake. Oh, yes. Blood Ball will be re-released on PS5 and PC. I don't reckon they're going to focus on the PC at all, but we'll probably hear about Bloodborne on PS5, and then afterwards, after the conference is done, the showcase, they go, oh yeah, it's also releasing on PC at the same time. So that's what I reckon is going to happen. Blood, so Bloodborne, 60 FPS, 4K on the PS5 and PC. Woohoo, thumbs up, yes. I'm down for that. Great news. A big talking point will be a VR. Are they going to showcase any VR games in any way? I, I don't know. VR is a bit of a mixed bag right now. I'm looking forward to Iron Man, but it does need a new model. So there's rumors of a PSVR 2 alongside the PS5. So will they touch on that at all? Will they showcase any gameplay? Who knows? Who knows? I don't reckon they're going to focus on VR at all. Maybe... A separate state of play where it's ps5 vr games or something something like that i'd imagine so the writer of dead space did tease that he will be showcasing his next game during the ps5 event so we're gonna see his next game i don't know what it is is it gonna be a dead space probably not maybe a brand new ip still very exciting he's obviously clearly a talented writer and i'm excited to see what he does next so what's that gonna be i reckon a probably a new horror game Potentially. Another very random prediction. Exclusive Crash Bandicoot game. A brand new game. I reckon the remake's done particularly well in terms of sales. It's done very well for Activision. So potentially we may see a timed exclusive Crash Bandicoot game. Ooh. That could be interesting. Potentially. Also, are they going to do any sort of completely left field announcements? Completely unpredictable a new IP from a massive studio right at the end. Just a short tease would be enough. A new IP. I, I love sequels like to Last of Us Part 2, for example. Kind of wait for that game. But a new IP would be exciting. And Sony doesn't mind taking risks on new IPs at all. Not at all. So I'm just really excited for the showcase. As you can probably tell, I'm fanboying just a tiny bit. Can't wait also for the Xbox Series X. Uh, first party reveal that's gonna be really good seeing halo again seeing Forza running on that xbox series x console is exciting but for me next gen starts today it's gonna be good i'm 
I feel like we may be overhyping it a little bit. Probably asking a little bit too much from Sony, but that's what we do. We overhype, we get overly excited, and then we get let down. That's that's what normally happens. But anyway, that is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave your predictions in the comments. What do you, what do you guys like to see? Are you expecting to be let down? Are you expecting to see the console, a price? Let me know, and I'll see you guys for the next video. I will be streaming, live reacting to the showcase, and I can't wait. Bye-bye.